Welcome to the second part of our Blender tutorial series. All we're gonna do in this tutorial is create a variety of different models from the default cube. Now let's create our second model a sphere using the default cube. Hold on Shift A together, hover on Mesh and choose Cube. If you notice, you can see that the object has been created on the cursor location. We call the center of the world as origin. If you already have an object on the origin and need the newly created object to be placed in a different location, you can either place the cursor in the desired location and then create the object there or just create the object from the origin and then move the object to the desired location using the move tool. I will explain what I mean. You can change the cursor location by going here and clicking on the cursor tool just click somewhere on the screen if you press shift a mesh and create a cube or something else I will, I will create a cube here you can see that the object has been created on the cursor location you can create object this way or you can by default create object from the origin and then use the move tool here to move the object to another place. If you need to bring the cursor to the origin, you need to press Shift S together and choose Cursor to World Origin. If you need to bring an object to the origin, you can click on the object and then press Shift S and then choose selection to cursor fine now let's go ahead and create a new shape to keep it unique let's rename this as sphere go right here double click and change the name here press enter and now it has been renamed you can check the object name here go to the modifier properties tab now and click on add modifier and choose subdivision surface under generate and then go ahead and change the levels viewport value here the maximum you can add here is 6 even though it looks like a sphere it has some crest and trough to watch it more closer, let's go in front view by pressing one key on the number pad. And you can clearly see that it's not a perfect sphere. So to make it more look like a sphere, we will add another modifier. We will go back to properties, add modifier and choose cast under the form. And here in the factor you can change the value to match it to a sphere if you change the factor value to 1 you can see that it looks like a sphere 